score for Team USA along with the U.S. begins on September 1st against the Czech Republic. The soul taps back. Ricky, Ru Ricky Rubio gathers Spain with four seconds left on the shot clock. It was defense that turned things around for the senior men's national team, the blue team last week. The soul takes the shot, beats the buzzer, and we have our first. We have to set the tone, especially as a point guard playing against Rubio in this setting and throughout this entire USA basketball experience. He's going to be the one on the defensive end as a point guard being able to disrupt. We know what he can do on the offensive yes. end. He can create his own and get easy buckets for Team USA. Uncontested layup in a half-court situation. It's wonderful and marvelous to watch. He had 14 points and four assists last week. Rubio knocks down the jumper and shows off the touch. And that's one thing Greg Popovich was telling us, that some of these players are different in their national team uniform than what you might see on a nightly basis in the NBA. And Rubio is a good example of that, that he cited. He'll be much more aggressive in terms of the shot. And his middles you know, multiple positions anywhere from two through four. So he's going to have to play a lot of minutes. Joe Harris is a fantastic shooter, but Middleton can do it both on both ends, offensively. Yes. Out of L.A. and head to Australia. Turn it over here. Come turn on Gomez. Finishes with the left hand. And man, we talk about Ooh, Rubio. And you talk about passing from Ricky Rubio, and they have a fantastic guy in Marcus Gasol from the center spot who also can facilitate. Quick shot for Donovan Mitchell. Three, Walker guarded by Rubio, gives it up, gets it back. Middleton will take it and knock it down. Chris Middleton. Three. Emphasis, because they really lay into you. And there's from that, Rudy shooting that shot. And there's Kyle Kuzma bringing it up. And there's Chris Middleton. He can flat out shoot it. Three of three for Chris Middleton now. He's got the feeling. For the U.S. Stripped by Colbert. And Rubio has it. Doesn't have numbers. We'll think about the three. He'll try the three and knock it down. Ricky Rubio. It's the three. Their first Good lesson, as Smitty referenced earlier, the FIBA game shorter, just a 10-minute scrimmage, teaches the guys they need to get off to a fast start, and they can't take any game for granted that they need before they head abroad. You're so right, Jared. I mean, reason why on all accounts, there's a team in Spain, you're looking at a lot of NBA teams, everybody waiting to see for him to come over. Don't know if it's gonna happen or not, but I've seen him play so much. Yeah. He is a skillful point guard for this uh, Spain team. Well, Greg Popovich told us he would like to see better rebounding from his team. Miles Turner answering that call with the offensive put back there. Yol tried to find Hernan Gomez. De'Aaron Fox comes back. We're number 20 in blue for the Americans. So fast and... Position and athleticism. And the game has slowed down for him. He's so comfortable. I think he's going to be a difference maker. There's Sergio with a nice pass. He is really good. That's Willie Hernan Gomez now. No, Smitty. I'm, I'm going Cover by the hair. Spin. You know, this, Willie has a little bit of touch of blonde yep. in his hair. Joe Harris setting up Turner for the dunk. He's really shooting it at 47%. There's Gill, number 23. He's 31 years of age. Second round pick back in 2009, in part because he can do things like that. Hey, you know, over, comes up short on the shot, but winds up back in his hands. There's Lopez. First shot of the night. Okay. We work with the players on educating them about all the things that they can do proactively. Their recovery is so important, so they work hard. You see them work in preparation for the game. Dr. Hallahan, the team, the country thanks you for your duties here and enjoy Australia. Thank you very much. I'm looking forward to it. Here's Dr. Lisa Callahan, Matt. All right, Jared, thanks much. You yes, I think 14 to 3. That is right. Plus 11 on rebounds in a quarter. Here's Rebox. Had that hard fall a moment ago. Again, hands off to his Bucks teammate, Chris Middleton. And back out to Jason Tatum. Middleton has it. Goes baseline. Sets up Brown for the dunk. Jalen Brown flying in. The veteran. Out to Hernan Gomez. Willie is off on the three. Middleton sees Walker ahead of the pack. And an easy two for Kemba Walker. Good vision by Chris. Three of the Boston Celtic brings it up for the Americans. Walker over to Tatum. Quick drive, and he hammers it home. Knew exactly where he wanted to go with it. And Jason, there are basically two arguments, right? One is that you want to do it tonight after the game, maybe tomorrow morning, and let the two players who aren't going to be involved definitively get on with the rest of the few weeks. A couple of injuries away. And you don't want to be stuck in Australia or China and have to make a phone call and hope somebody can scramble to get on a 12-man roster 
And then, as you know, if there's an injury beyond that, you just play off with 11 or 10 or whatever you have left. Great pass. Great look from Yol. Yol just up 10, and that definitely can change. You got to keep playing with your principles and understand this Spain team will still come back. And Donovan Mitchell with a fantastic move and finish. Just two players on this U.S. roster with senior men's national team experience. Harrison Barnes is the other. Walker. Man, he is so mm -hmm. fun. Served on the board, and I'll get a chance to call some games with you, Matt. So that means I'm getting old. <laughs> I was going to say that. that. That doesn't sound like the highlight of that resume, <laughs> necessarily. <laughs> Kino Cologne mm -hmm. for NBA training camp. And I think that, that was a difficult part. To the decisions a lot yep. of players have made this summer to pass on the World Cup. Tatum knocks down. Just over a minute to go. 12-point lead for the U.S. Can't quite shake the Spaniards. Mitchell gets a pick from Turner, glides in and finishes with the right hand. Kuzma. Gasol got a hand in there, and apparently cleanly as Rubio brings it back for Spain. Rubio will put it up and in. Count the bucket for Ricky Rubio. Productive second quarter for Rubio. Mitchell handles it for the red, white, and blue. Over to Joe Harris. Turn the corner. Gives it up to Turner. Another good dish. Joe. But so far for me, I'm impressed with the chemistry and continuity in the first half on the offensive end. Now, overall, they've shot nearly 61. A bigger lead for Team USA. Rubio turns the corner to set up Gasol, and that is turned away by Turner. Gasol gets it back and connects, but what a great reaction by Miles Turner defensively. Wow, this is a good job. He's still, I guess, technically property of the Houston Rockets in the NBA. He was a second-round draft pick back in 09, but has consistently decided not to go over to his home country. Make it a good living, playing uh, pro ball. And I would say for the last, I would say 10 years, you've heard talk about how good he is, and I've witnessed it. Brings it back for the U.S. Plumley has it. Over to Mitchell now. Screen from Plumley. Floater from Mitchell is up and in. Done. They seek you out in a national play. They're not set strong. You can see they're kind of like in a constant movement. And sometimes it's hard, and that was a beautiful play by... Spain. Have you guys been able to utilize this time and gain some much needed chemistry? Uh, we have. We, we, we have used this time to, to the chemistry, but you know, it, it's been a. We, we are. They obviously prioritize, and that's defense. And it brings a physical element, which they could use right now, because we got bodies flying all over the place here while Jared was talking to Marcus. Yeah, get a little physical, and you can see Team US. In his two seasons, he's averaged 8.5 points, 48%. Um, started a lot of games for the San Antonio Spurs and played well in the playoffs. It's now for the U.S. Jalen Brown was pretty quiet as a starter last week, but he's producing here off the bench for the U.S. Cologne was born in the Principality of Andorra, which is wedged between Spain and France. Population under 80,000, and he was just beaten by two. Brooke Lopez, can you call that one out? Right, yeah. Can you say something? And that's not even a questionable screen. No, that's that a good was NBA a good screen. screen, yeah. Fernandez for three. Rudy knocks it down. Three-pointer for Rudy Fernandez. His first bucket of the night. Harris off the screen into the paint. And it's knocked away by... Size. Nowhere to go for Gomez. Good job of moving it. Good. This is good basketball. Right to Lopez. Lopez had his best defensive season in the NBA last year. Not just blocking shots, although he did that really well. As Fernandez is starting to heat up part of the rim. Back comes Spain. Kino Cologne handles. Into the paint. Floater is up and good for Kino Cologne. <laughs> it's an awkward range. Shoot a floater. As many of you know as a point guard, you got to make that decision, right? You turn the corner, you, you can deal with what's there or not there. And then. This is the backcourt most expect to see when the World Cup begins in China. Walker and Donovan Mitchell. Walker knocks out. Kemba with a screen from Turner. Mitchell for three. Got it. Now with a dozen. He's hit two of three from the great beyond. Fernandez up top. Hernan Gomez over his head. Finish the play. Ricky Rubio, really good in that first half. Pretty quiet so far here in the second. Interesting shot. It is. 
Kemp it over to Barnes to the corner for Harris. Spain Great close the scouting out. report. They're all over Harris. Gets away from him. Here's Rebos to finish it off for Spain. It's been a persistent yeah. gap. Again, to 11. Harris caught up in the air there and sends it to White. Scouting report by Spain. Do not give him an open yeah, shot. They, they, they find Joe Harris when he finds it. Soul up top, such a great playmaker for Team Spain. And here's Rubio. Drifting to his left, no good because Soul there. Juan Hernan Gomez has it. Back to Rubio. Five on the shot clock. Rubio out to Gasol. Here's Yol. Sergio Yol knocks down. Off as a possession for Spain, they answered. Right now, if you're in USA, you don't want to get a live ball turnover and give up an easy bucket. Harris. Knocks it down. That's why he's out there. Get one off. That was his first three attempts because they've done such a good job closing out on him. There's White at the rim. Turned right into Plumley. No foul call. Rightly so. Just lost the ball. Tatum in the corner now. And it's good. Man, that kid is good. I mean, Jason Tatum. Game is smooth. He got his feet set. And there's Marcus Saul shooting a three. Answer from Gasol. Screen from Lopez. They look inside. And the U.S. turns it over. For the 20th time tonight. Gasol for three. Mark Gasol now with 16. Ties Rubio for second in the FIBA World Rankings. Uh, Vegas has Serbia as the second favorite. Going in. Yeah, 28 seconds left. Spain still playing. Gasol, giving 19 on the night. Gasol, already hit three threes. Chased off the line that time. Rubio will try it. Air ball, the U.S. can run out the clock. A lot to like about the U.S. tonight. Defensively, ball movement, shooting as well. As for the second straight Friday night, they knocked down 11 threes and tonight he was on just 19 attempts overall they shot just under 55 percent and they get the win